वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माई सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्ट नंबर थ्री ऑफ एच पी एस एस सी दैट इज हिमाचल प्रदेश स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन लैब टेक्नीशियन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू डेज एम सी क्यू आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट फॉर विजिटिंग अवर चैनल फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू इनेबल ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अवर नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग वीडियोज लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर साइटोलॉजिकल स्टेन यूज फॉर कनेक्टिव टीस्यूज इज ऑप्शन ए वन जीसन स्टेन बी मैसन ट्राइकॉम स्टेन सी बोथ ए एंड बी डी नन ऑफ दिस फैक्ट अवेलेबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज स्टेन फॉर स्टेनिंग ऑफ कनेक्टिव टीस्यूज इज वन जीसन स्टेन इन विच एसिड फुक्सिन एक्ट एज ए प्राइमरी स्टेन एंड पिक्टिक एसिड एक्ट एज ए काउंटर स्टेन इन एडिशन टू दिस Other stains like Mason trichrome stain and phosphotungstic acid hematoxylin stain are also used for the staining of the connective tissues. So we can say from the given information, both von Giessen stain and Mason trichrome stain both are the stains that are used for the cytological stain for staining of the connective tissues. So option C, both A and B will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number sixty-seven. Von Giessen stain is option A. a mixture of picric acid and acid fuchsin b a mixture of acetic acid and alcohol c both a and b d none of these as we have already discussed about von giessen stain it is a mixture of acid fuchsin that is a primary stain and picric acid as a counter stain it should be prepared freshly just before staining the process just before the staining procedure so we can say it is a mixture of acid fuchsin and picric acid so option a will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 68 the principle of pas stain that is periodic acid skip stain in a histochemical reaction is that option a the periodic acid oxidizes the carbon to carbon bond forming aldehyde which react with the acid to form a magenta color b the periodic acid reduces the carbon to carbon bond forming aldehyde which react with the acid which react to the fuchsin sulfurous acid sulfurous acid which forms the magenta color c the sulfuric acid reduces the reduces to sulfurous acid which gives pink color d none of these fact available ps stain it is tissue structures like glycogen mucin hyaluronic acid reticulin colloidal droplets amyloid infiltration colloid pituitary stalk etc are stained by the periodic acid skip stain the principle of the stain that is ps stain in a histochemical reaction is that the periodic acid oxidizes oxidizes the carbon to carbon bond forming aldehyde which react with the hydrochloric acid which forms the purple red or magenta color so we can say from the given information it is option a the periodic acid oxidizes the carbon to carbon bond forming aldehyde which react with the acid particularly hydrochloric acid which forms the purple red or magenta color so option a will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 69 the macrophage in the central nervous system is option a langerhans cell b langerhans cell c kupffer cell d microgilla fact available for this question in form of figure where you can see the different names of the macrophages in different tissues or organ in one of our previous question we have discussed that in liver macrophages are known as the with the name of kupffer cell in kidney they are known as the mesangial cells in intestine they are known as the intestinal macrophage in lung they are known as the dust cells in central nervous system or in brain they are known as the microgilla in skin they are known as the langerhans cells and lastly into the bones they are known with the name osteoclast so all these are the different names of the macrophages found to be present in different tissues or organs that you can remember for each organ or tissues but here here it is asked for the central nervous system so we can say option d microgilla will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 70 congo red stain is used to identify option a amyloid b carbohydrate c fat d all of these fact available for this question it is 
in various pathological conditions abnormal quantities of glycoprotein such as amyloid may occur in organ and tissues known as the amyloidosis congo red toluene in blue and crystal violet stains the amyloids and shows metachromatosis that means the color that appears in this section following the staining procedures is somewhat different from the dominant color or the original color of this stain so we can say from the given information Congo red stain is used to stain for the staining of the amyloids. Option A will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 71. Iron deficiency patient has option A. Reduced serum iron. B. Reduced iron store. C. Raised or increased total iron binding capacity. D. All of these. Fact available for this question it is. A total iron binding capacity or TIBC test measures the blood's ability to attach itself to the iron and transport it around the body. A transferrin test is somewhat similar to the TIBC test. If you have iron deficiency or a lack of iron in your blood, you your iron will level will be low but your total iron binding capacity will be high. So we can say from the given information in case of pa patient with iron deficiency both Serum iron and iron store are reduced but total iron binding capacity will be raised or increased. So we can say option D all of this will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 72. Polarizing microscope is used with option A. Jimsa stain, B. Eosin stain, C. Congo red stain, D. None of these. This question we, we have already discussed in our previous MCQ series. Amyloid Fact available for this question it is amyloid stain by the Congo red is traditionally said to show apple green by reference in polarized light in polarizing microscopy. So we can say in polarizing microscopy Congo red stain is used for the detection of amyloid. So we can say here option C Congo red stain will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 73. The processing in histopathology is in sequence of option A. Fixation, dehydration, paraffin block making, section cutting. B. Section cutting, fixation, dehydration, paraffin block making. C. Dehydration, paraffin block making, section cutting, then fixation. D. Paraffin block making, section cutting, fixation and lastly the dehydration. Correct sequence or the steps of the processing in histopathology is first fixation, then it comes gross examination and dehydration. Third is if necessary decalcification should be done if it is uh, tissues are the calcified tissues like bone or teeth then it comes preparation of paraffin block making then it is embedding then it is microtomy that is section cutting then it is staining and lastly it is the mounting so we can say as per the given information we can say option a will be the correct sequence for the processing of the tissues in the histopathology that is fixation, dehydration, dehydration, paraffin block making, then staining and section cutting and lastly the staining process. So option A will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 74. Toluidine blue shows the property of option A. Isochromia, B. Polychromasia, C. Metachromasia, D. Hypochromia. Fact available for this question it is. We have already discussed in previous questions. That Congo red, toluene blue and crystal violet stain stains the amyloid and shows metachromatosis. That means the color that appears in this section of the tissues following this staining procedure is somewhat different from the dominant or the original color of the stain. So we can say toluene blue shows the property that is known as the metachromatosis or metachromasia. So option C, metachromasia will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 75. Bleeding time is used to access option A. Coagulation factor 2. B. Growth factor. C. Endocrine factor. D. Platelets. Fact available for this question it is. Bleeding time is a clinical laboratory test performed to evaluate platelet functions. It involves the creation of a standardized incision and timing of the cessation of bleeding is measured. So we can say. It is the test to measure the or evaluate the function of the platelets. So option D will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 76. Erythrocytic sedimentation rate or erythrocyte sedimentation rate is influenced or affected by option A. 
एज बी अल्कोहल कंजम्पन सी बोथ ए एंड बी डी नन ऑफ दिस फैक्ट अवेलेबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज ये सार वेराइज ग्रेटली विथ एज एंड सेक्स एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग रेफरेंस वैल्यूज एंड आर प्रपोज लाइफ स्टाइल फैक्टर्स दैट इज फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज स्मोकिंग एंड अल्कोहल कंजम्पन एज वेल एज कॉमन मेटाबोलिक एबनॉर्मेलिटीज लाइक obesity and related metabolic syndromes may also influence the ESR values. So we can say from the given information, age and alcohol consumption both are influenced, both influence the ESR or erythrocyte sedimentation rate. So we can say option C, both A and B will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 77. Plasma constitutes option A, 15 percentage of the total blood volume B. 35% of the total blood volume, C 55% of the total blood volume, D 65% of the total blood volume. One of the easiest questions we have already discussed in our MCQ series. Plasma constitutes 55% and blood cell contains or constitutes the 45% of the total blood volume. Plasma out of this 55%, 90% is water, salt, lipids and hormone. It is especially rich in the proteins, immunoglobulins, clotting factors and fibrinogens. So we can say from the given information it is 55% of the total blood volume it is made up of plasma or plasma constitute the 55% of the total blood volume. So option C will be the correct answer for this question. That's all for the today. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel Lab Tech World. And if you like our work, then like and share our videos with your friends who are preparing for the upcoming lab technician exams. Thank you. Thank you very much.